Okay, well, here we go. Welcome to uh, our home altar. So I'm going to begin by doing three bows, and uh, you can do them with me if you'd like. I'm going to do full bows, so you can do standing bows, internal bows, whatever you like. And then um, I'll move the camera uh, so that um, you won't have to look at me, but you can look at the Buddha, and, um, and I'll uh, guide you through uh, Metta Bhavana meditation. So let's begin. Precepts incense, samadhi incense, wisdom incense, liberation incense, cloud of lighted incense, pouring into the Dharma realms, offering to the highest teachers of the ten directions. I respectfully bow to the incense cloud bodhisattva. I respectfully bow to the incense cloud bodhisattva. I respectfully bow to the incense cloud bodhisattva. I respectfully bow to all directions of space, all realms past, present, and future, all Buddhas, the honored Dharma, the enlightened Sangha, the permanent three treasures. I respectfully bow to our own teacher, Sakyamuni Buddha, the future born Maitreya Buddha, great wisdom, Manjushri Bodhisattva, great practice, Samatabhadra Bodhisattva. Dharma protector bodhisattvas, Buddhas and bodhisattvas assembled at the great holy mountain. I respectfully bow to the great love, great compassion, Amitabha Buddha of the western paradise, great compassion, Avalokiteshvara bodhisattva, great power, Mahastama Prada bodhisattva, great Valk, Siddhigarbha bodhisattva, and all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the great pure ocean. To begin, take a few deep breaths and just relax your body, let your mind settle down a little bit and just focus on your breath, breathing in, breathing out, nice deep ones, just let your belly rise and fall, let your abdomen be relaxed. And just let your breath settle into a comfortable rhythm. No need to breathe any special way. Just naturally and calmly. And as you exhale, just let this thought emerge silently from your heart. May I be happy. May I be happy. And this doesn't mean may I have the things that I want. It doesn't mean may I get happiness sometime in the future. It really means right now, sitting here, breathing in, breathing out, experiencing the happiness that comes from within, and that's found in the present moment. And 
May I be free from animosity. If there's any ill will toward anyone present in your heart right now, just let that go. Just set it aside. You can come back to it and be angry later if you want to. But for right now, at least, give yourself freedom from that. Freedom from ill will, from anger, from hatred. May I be free from stress and affliction. And as we meditate, all kinds of things come into our awareness. There's sounds from the outside, physical sensations, thoughts that arise. There's no need to engage with any of those in a way that creates stress. Let them come and go. Let them be whatever's happening in the present moment. And there's no need to nurture any stresses until they become afflictions. May I look after myself with ease. So we carefully Observe what the mind does, watching its movements, letting go of those movements that tend towards stress, anger, bringing our attention back, back to our breath, back to our goodwill. doing it calmly and compassionately, with ease. And call to mind a loved one. Traditionally, it might be a parent, but maybe a spouse or your child, someone you care for, very much, or someone who's cared for you. Yeah. And you can visualize them being with you or think of their name and wish for happiness for them. May they be happy. And if you like to visualize, you can imagine that thought extending out to them as a light, or experience it as a warmth, reaching out, extending out from your heart to include your loved one with this thought, may they be happy. May they be free from animosity. May they be free from stress and affliction. May they look after themselves with ease. Call to mind a friend, someone that you like, that you enjoy being with, or maybe they've done you some favors, supported you in some way. And visualize them with you or think of their name. 
Extend your goodwill, your wish for their happiness, out from your heart to touch them with that thought, may they be happy. And your objective in this is not to figure out how to make them happy or if they can be happy or anything like that. You're really just working with to develop your goodwill toward others, your capacity for kindness, compassion. May they be happy. May they be free from animosity. May they be free from stress and affliction. after themselves with ease. Think of an acquaintance, someone that you don't know very well, maybe, but you know who they are, or it could be someone that you know, but you don't really have much of a feeling for one way or the other. You may know very little about this person, but you know that like yourself and like your friends and loved ones, that they want happiness and that they experience anger and stress and all those things. So go ahead and extend this wish to your acquaintance. May they be happy. May they be free from animosity. May they be free from stress and affliction. May they look after themselves with ease. Now, if there's someone in your life that you're angry at, someone you're not getting along with, someone who rubs you the wrong way, it could be a public figure you don't like. Extend to them the same wish for happiness that you have for yourself, your loved one, your friend, your acquaintance. Recognize that difficult people are difficult because they're suffering. Everyone wants happiness. Everyone wants freedom. Some people go about it in very unskillful ways. It doesn't cost you anything to have goodwill for someone. But it develops your strength. Being able to be kind. 
kind and compassionate even to people that you don't like is healthy for you. So imagine them and send them that wish. May they be happy. free from animosity. May they be free from stress and affliction. after themselves with ease. If you have resistance to this idea of wishing happiness to someone that you don't like or that you don't get along with, just go ahead and experience the resistance and wish them well anyway. In time, with deeper understanding, you'll develop that resilience to be able to do that. May they be happy. And send that thought, may they be happy, to all the people in your community. Just imagine that expanding out from your heart to touch everyone in your city. May they be happy. And extending out to touch everyone in your state with the thought, may they all be happy. And everyone in your country, may they all be happy. Everyone in the world, may they all be happy. Not just people, but all beings. May all the beings that walk on the earth be happy. May all beings that fly be happy. May all beings that swim in the waters be happy. May all beings that burrow beneath the ground be happy. everywhere, whatever beings there are, if there are formless beings, may they be happy. If there are beings in heavens or hells, may they be happy. May all beings be happy.
before we end this meditation, take a few deep breaths. Be aware of this warmth that's at your heart. It's always available for you. The light of goodwill is always there for you when you need it. And the more you give it away, the more you have. I'll ring the bell twice to end the meditation. When it rings the first time, if you'd like, you can bring your hands together in front of your chest to gasho. Maybe send that wish, may all beings be happy out one more time. When it rings the second time, you can bow slightly and take a moment to be aware that you've just done something good that benefits you and that benefits your world. And acknowledge this and be grateful to yourself for taking this time. So thank you for joining me at noon. January 20th, 2017. May you be happy and well. And whatever merit comes from this practice, go toward the liberation of all beings. <laughs>